welcome this is the energy vibration um, reading for the Sagittarius Sun Moon and Rising and yeah conservation still from you ladies and and it's neat slacked but uh, the jealousy for you fire sign people are coming up so much as a lot of people are having so much jealousy um so in the fourth week it's going to be a week where you're seeing just the hate people just hate jealousy coming at you in the fourth week okay sorry I want to say to you Sagittarians thank you so much um, for your um, support this is so wonderful and something wonderful is happening because you're all so standing up here before I start your reading so whatever that has been happening in your life there's actually good things um, it's only the fourth week I was like oh my god this jealous um, jealous a lot of jealousy is coming up around you and you're seeing there is justice and um, within the sense of justice the jealousy um, you're seeing the jealousy is as if uh, um, you were it's as if someone did you something it's as if someone did you something so people were lying and 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 um, and like justice stand up and they're seeing what happened the lie the jealousy the hate whatever that people have done against you so you know this is something that is so performed um, you know it's like it's like the judge saw what how people lied and tried to make you um, look bad and, and 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 then there is going to be a balance because there is an opening of a portal of balance that is going to come in for you Sagittarius so whatever that was happening because the rest uh, the first three weeks is only the fourth week and whenever these things happen these jealousy and this sort of a thing you have to realize that um, it's as if oh my god they said what this woman has gone through or this man has gone through oh my god um, but the truth came out and they saw that it was all about hateful jealousy and uh, whatever that was happening for you Sagittarius uh, it's going to come to an end I, I saw the end thing yes and I was like oh no <laughs> you know but for the rest it's going to be um, wonderful there's no art the outbreak that comes up is it's reverse it's like there's no outbreak there is going to be new invitation new openings for you so this is going to be wonderful and positive so thank god anyway um the month of august and i want to say to you sagittarius you have been supporting my channel and i'm so grateful so thank you thank you thank you it is going to be so wonderful for you in august um this is this is a very good reading that i should say um, also because I was getting weird readings but anyway um the month of August is going to be the energy of the hermit so you be going and connecting with your inner light with your inner intuition and guides you'd be trying to find yourself who you are as a spiritual being on this planet which is going to be extremely wonderful and um, a lot of people guide and angels universal um, guides and angels are going to come in to help you in this month of August so it's going to be wonderful and it's going to be positive the beginning of the month you will have the energy of fire so the two first weeks is going to be beautiful for you guys because the two first weeks is going to be love um, the soulmate and the twin flame relationship is coming in in the first week second week is going to be a an, an surprise a wonderful surprise and this surprise is going to come for um, all of you out there is going to the universe is like going to surprise each and every one out there because you also have your own energy vibration in the second week in the third week you have the energy of the tower and energy of the tower is bringing um, something to light and whatever that thing is you have the mother of cups so this is good the mother of cups so um, some people if you are a man you'll be asking the marriage of the hands of a, uh, a Pisces a Capri a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion so this is this is this is this is good or someone would be from that sign asking you um, the ends of marriage with that and so it's going to be good the third week is where we 
have a jealousy, hate, and everything. But in the fifth week, uh, there is an invitation. So it's going to be extremely wonderful. So whatever is happening in this month, you don't have to worry about it, okay? Because everything is falling in place. Um, what I need to say to you guys, your number is going to be six, seven, and nine. Six, seven, and nine, okay? All right, we're going to look at this week, which I can't wait for you, Sagittarius. I love you guys because I am really, um, yeah, I'm really seeing a, a real changing of you guys because in the beginning you guys were, you know, but now you're really feeling and you're really understanding because uh, Sagittarians, let's face it, you're one of the luckiest person on this planet, even though you don't see it, but you are. And what is happening is that whatever the situation that has been happening in your lives, so it's changing, it's changing. And in the month of August, which is a perfectly wonderful month of August, you're going to see positive endeavors happening in your life, positive things that are happening in your life okay we're going to begin with the first week and it's the father of the cups in the first week we have balance balance is the energy vibration of an urge energy which is extremely extremely good then we have the king of cups the father of cups the father of cups is extremely good so for you Sagittarians whatever is happening um, you are going to meet the love of your life this is going to be a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpion. So again, for you Sagittarius, you're going to meet the love of your life, which can be in the form of a soulmate of a twin flame relationships. And he is going to be the King of Cups. The King of Cups is going to be, or the Father of Cups, is going to be a Pisces, a Cancer, or a a scorpion and this is going to be wonderful this is going to be a perfectly balanced wonderful relationship of a lifetime okay so this is going to be so super 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 positive for you guys so for um, you and uh, if it doesn't really matter who you are you're looking for a relationship it's all about love in this week for the rest of the people it's going to be a positive positive week it doesn't really matter because I'm not saying for the rest of the people and they're wondering what's gonna to happen to us if we're not looking for a relationship but um, it's gonna be a positive week a very very positive week because you are fire sign and the energy of the and, and the last of the fire sign and the energy of the the Virgos who are the last of the hurt signs are here supporting you in this week so it's going to be extremely extremely positive okay so this is going to be wonderful you fire signs you lovers you Sagittarians it's gonna be good Okay, the second week we have the energy of the lover, which is another profound, wonderful energy. So, and the energy of the lovers, you have um, the queen of um, your own self, your own energy vibration. So this is it. And this is what I'm saying to a lot of you Sagittarians in this month of, uh, in this month of uh, August expect surprises a lot of surprises surprise in love surprise in um, getting what you want a lot of surprises you will be you are not going to understand what is happening to you because a lot of wonderful wonderful surprises are coming in so as we look at this month what is happening here in this month we are seeing new positive energies coming in and for each and every Sagittarius in the second week you are going to be blessed with a gift a surprise is going to come to you which you weren't expecting and this is going to shadow you with beautiful wonderful energies and wonderful messages as we look at this um, first first second week you are going to see that whatever it is within the energy vibration of you and love a surprise you and whatever your kids your family just surprises coming at you guys and this is going to be good so in this week I would buy the lottery if you are someone who buys the lottery buy the lottery because you never because a surprise the universe is sending surprise it's like every one of you Sagittarians life is going to be touched 
with surprise okay as we look at the um, as we look at the third week we have the energy of the tower the energy of the tower is coming in and the energy of the tower has the energy of the mother of cups and the energy of the mother of cups is the energy of the Pisces the Kansas or the scorpion so whoever this person was that was blocking you or whatever or is it the mother of your partner that was blocking you this is going to come to an end your partner is going to ask you the ends of marriage is going to be wonderful for some people it's going to be the ends of marriage and for some people it's going to be contracts and these contracts are going to be good contracts so if you're looking for work you haven't been finding work you haven't been somehow the universe is going to bring you a super surprise and doors of up opportunities are going to open up to you and this is going to be perfectly wonderful you're going to see um, you're going to get a dream job for the people who are looking for this dream job for the people who were looking for this per perfect situation perfect um, work perfect contracts perfect um, working together with other people perfect networking and that sort of a thing it's going to come out but most of all if uh, you were um you know especially for the men you're going to ask someone who is a, a pisces a cancer or a um scorpion the hands of marriage and this is going to be wonderful this is going to be extremely wonderful Oh my God, the three week, first weeks is just so positive. You have love, you have surprise, you have contracts, good contracts that you're going to sign, that sort of a thing. So it's going to be perfect for you, um, 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 Sagittarians. Okay, we're getting, going, going to the fourth week. In the fourth week, we have the scale of balance, the scale of justice. And we have the two of ones in reverse, but I love this two of ones and um, because this two of ones in whatever way it is, right or reverse or upright. What is happening is that be aware negative energies could be coming through this portal, which that means um, you could win something and uh, um, whatever you're oppressed over and um, people are sending you negative energies hate hate and people send you negative energies and hate hate a lot of hate this is jealousy jealousy hate and that sort of a thing okay for some people be aware protect yourself and how to protect yourself is you call upon your angels and guide and universal angels for divine protection okay for some people you're going to see clarity about a situation okay for some people you're going to see that it was hate and jealousy um, people not wanting you to have what was in your blueprint and the will of God the will of source creator so you will have hate and jealousy coming at you because people realize that you are in you know the way they placed you and in the form that they place you you're going to um, they're going to realize that you know people or not um, it was just you know your life has been um, tossed with hate and jealousy from other people and justice is going to come in so you're going to see what was happening in the background okay so this is hard to deal with but it's okay it's okay trust me it is okay just in the third week you're going to see how much people I'd hate you for whatever reason it was but you know it's gonna be okay because at least you are aware of what was happening that um, and you know what another thing is that for some people justice is going to step in and going to see the way people were lying about things and they're going to be shown up nasty as we look at the fifth week we have the energy of vibration of the moon and the energy vibration of the moon is the moon of intuition clarity um, the, the female aspect of yourself and yet still this is clarity this is your guiding angels coming in and showing you and giving you clarity and letting you see clarity to the situation whatsoever that you had um, felt or broken over 
um, as something better is going to come out because a new invitation is going to come in so if there was a situation that was blocked and you felt or broken about it you are going to realize that something wonderful is going to happen and you know sometimes we want something and we never get it and something better is coming and this is what is going to happen so for the people who have lost something in their lives whatever that you have lost it was a small loss it is okay um, it can be you lost someone who you love very much and you felt felt are broken and it can be that you lost a house whatever the situation it can be you lost a, um, something that of value to you whatever it was friendship or that sort of a thing but know that something new is coming in a new invitation is coming in and this invitation is going to be extremely good because this is uh, uh, and something that is coming it's as if your guides and your angels of orchestrate um, this for you to come in your lives and this is going to be wonderful and positive okay so sometimes it's as if for some people um, you you've lost a loved one in your life or you have lost the position at your work and that sort of a thing and you are feeling you know left out in the cold but you know as you see your cards go back and look over your cards in the middle of the month go back and look over your cards to see what is going to happen in the next week because this is how you should see a monthly reading every week you go and look at what is going to happen and and, and look at the the weekly readings and then see how that connects and listen to your Sun moon and rise and sign and yeah and if you can't do it every week you know like the in the third week go and see how the first half of the month went and what to expect in the second half of the month and this is wonderful okay so as we're looking at your energy vibration um, in this month it's gonna be wonderful okay you're going to realize that a lot of people are hating on you and jealous of what you have and who you are and what you have become but listen to me and listen and understand whenever these people because it, it, it the, the more time that you tend to protect yourself and uh, you um, protect yourself from these people is the less time that you have to um, worry because your outcome is going to be the nine of ones in reverse and this is good because you have learned to overcome certain things and you have uh, um, realize that you have conquered the the situation of not worrying okay so whatever is happening to you in your life in this month you have conquered not worrying because you have conquered the nine of ones in reverse and this is going to be your outcome so whatever the situation is the outcomes is going to be extremely good this is a wonderful positive month for love love in the first week and in the third week because um, in the first week people are going to connect together in soulmate and love soulmate relationship soulmates and soulmates and twin flame relationships and in the third week some people or aunts are going to be acts in the form of marriage so contracts um, marital contracts the ring the energy of the ring is here coming up so the ring energy is the energy of uh, people being asked in and the ends of marriage and people being asked in contracts to have contracts okay so this is going to be good this is going to be excellent whatever it's going on so love is going to be profoundly wonderful and um, in this month as we look at the zodiac energies to see who you'll be working with we're looking at the Sun people um, first and let's see what we have for the Sun people we have the scorpions coming up to help you guys and we have okay what I should say for you Sun people okay let me put my glasses on for the Sun um, Sagittarius people for the Sun Sagittarius people we have the energy of the scorpions coming in to help you the scorpions are very nice because they are going to show you who are your hidden enemies okay I love the scorpion people they show you who are your hidden enemies and they, that is one of their energy vibration to show people who are the hidden enemies okay that is for the the scorpion people who are coming in you have the energies of the Virgo which you're going to deal with in the first week which is wonderful and these Virgos are connecting you with the soul family and the soul is a soul family 
and the energy vibration of uh, the soul family and you have uh, your twin flames and the Virgos are going to help you to connect with them in the first week uh, in the second week you have the energy of uh, no Uranus and Uranus is also going to bring you surprises um, and this is very good so for the Sun people remember that you have to deal with the scorpions the Virgo and Uranus in this month of uh, um, August okay so for the Sun people you have to deal with the scorpions the Virgos who are coming in to help you and the planet Uranus so this is going to be extremely good this is going to be good for you Sun people we're going to look at the moon people to see what is happening for the moon Sagittarius let's see the energies for the moon Sagittarius what is going to happen for the moon Sagittarius what is going to happen for the moon Sagittarius what is going to happen for the moon Sagittarius okay what is going to happen for the moon Sagittarius okay we have the energy of the moon Sagittarius and you're going to be working with Pluto oh my gosh mm, Pluto is going to really really take you my darlings so Pluto is really the planet and you know I am I'm, I'm guided to look at Pluto what is going to happen to Pluto Pluto is going to take you to a place where um, Pluto is going to take you to a place where the least of understanding um, Wow Pluto and the lunas oh my gosh this is going to be something for you guys um, um this is going to be something because uh, um it is um you are the Sagittarius and the moon in Sagittarius is waiting through the restless until you can see clearly waiting through the reckless until you can see clearly so in this this month you um lunar people are going to be waiting through the reckless until you can see clearly wow isn't that what yes and I can understand um, when it is in that position and let's look and see what Pluto and you guys are going to be doing because uh, when Pluto come in your sign oh my gosh the Pluto and the Sagittarius journey to a place where you will be reborn oh. Isn't that wonderful? Yes, it is. You're going to Pluto is going to help you, um, moon people, to journey to a place where you know a rebirth is going to take place, and that is one of the most wonderful things. Journey to a place where you will be reborn, and this is going to be perfectly, perfectly um, wonderful. Oh my gosh, I'm loving, I'm, I'm really, really loving this for you guys. So, so whatever is happening. Pluto is going to help you with a rebirth and this rebirth is going to be good Pluto is going to help you um, with a rebirth and this rebirth is going to be good because you're going to have the energy of the Taurus is there to give you inner strength a passion a will to move on but also balance and you're going to have the Aries there who are you know the people who fight to um, you know have something in their lives so this is going to be good it doesn't really matter how you're looking at it for you moon people but it's a rebirth that is coming up for you moon people in the month of August there is going to be really a rebirth coming up for you moon people so this is going to be wonderful for you Sagittarius and the outcome again is going to be the nine of ones in reverse you won't have any worries the last and final card I have for you is the energy of the vortex let's see what is the energy of the vortex for you I will not try to control the uncontrollable huh? I had to learn this I really really had to learn this because I could not understand certain things why people vibrate like that and I had to, to learn I cannot try to control the uncontrollable we want you to reach the place where you're willing not to just willing determined not to just determined the, the ego 
to let go of the need of control of things that are uncontrollable. Like what anyone, anybody else is doing and giving your undivided attention to only the thing you can control, which is how you feel in any given circumstances. In other words, we want you to leave this moment saying, I have decided that I am going to take life as it comes and I am going to do the best that I can do in the midst of what I am doing. And this is profoundly wonderful because whenever we can release the need to control, you are going to see how wonderful your life is going to vibrate on a high energy vibration. So I am willing not to try to control the uncontrollable. Okay, this is wonderful. This is so wonderful. This is perfect for you, Sagittarians. This is another beautiful reading. So, and um, you see here the number two and six is eight. So, again, I have to say that you guys are very, very lucky. The number eight infinity sign. Um, even though the energy of money didn't show up in your reading in this month of August, what shows up is much better than money because with love, you will have inner peace and understanding. A surprise is here in the second week for you, um, Sagittarius, and in the fourth week, you'll be asked the ends of marriage. What I should always also say about your reading is that um, if your parents is the um, father of cups which is a cancer a Pisces or a scorpion and your mother is also a cancer a Pisces scorpion um, uh, a, a Pisces be aware there is a situation that is happening there is a situation that is happening because we have love and we have the ring so a lot of people will be asking the ends of marriage. A lot of people will be connecting with people. A lot of energies, vibration will be going on in the family sense, which is good. Love, you are going to connect with the water people. You're going to connect with the Pisces, the Cancers, and the Scorpions. This is a love of a lifetime. This is the universal angel saying to you, Oh my God, this is the person for you. This is the one for you. Look no further because they're here. Whatever that has been happening, you are going to see that jealousy was a, a big part of what was going on. There was the issue of people being jealous of you and justice is going to see that. So people, other people are going to see that it, who, whatever situation that happened to you, people were lying line people were lying and this is going to break down in the third week so it's all about um, um, jealousy it's all about a jealousy people were being jealous of you so I want to leave you again with the last message and it says I you know I accept um, what I can't um, control the uncontrollable so have a wonderful wonderful month congratulations again love is in the hair surprises uh, people are going to be asked in the ends of marriage good contract business contract work contract and um, whatever contract um, whether you were asking for a student loan whatever it was uh, it's gonna come in good things are going to happen in your life and I want to say to each and every person out there I'm sending my love to you have a wonderful month until next month Thank you.